Okay. Uh, we're going to go on our biggest test today and uh, see how it goes. Oh, I rode it late last night after dark. Uh, and uh, I think it's almost up to full charge. Let's see if we can see it there or not. I can't tell. Anyway, about 50, 56 and a half, 57 volts is where it should be. Mm. And we're at 158 and a half kilometers in eight hours time. Okay. I'll be watching them wheels. I've uh, checked them here. They seem fine. Hope to God we don't have any flats. I guess we're just about like, ready to go here. Uh, Okay, we got water. Yeah, this is out to Mikey's place for the 4th of July. So, uh, that's out in West, Pueblo West. This will be by far our farthest trip, I think, that we've ever taken. God be with us. Oh, where's my glasses at? Glasses, bugs in your eyes and stuff. Oh, the mail's not around the day. Independence Day. Get over how nice this thing rides. Really got to get on the suspension. anywhere you need to go and carry a little carry a, a good amount of groceries or whatever or tools or whatever with you for your camp yeah basically your camp you know I lived in a school bus when I was a kid a couple of years ago 
nothing like the feeling of independence of knowing that you own everything that you got right there and you can pick up and go whenever you want to nobody can stop you Keep your license plates up and stuff like that. This here's even got it over on that. Don't even have to have license plates. go upwards of 40 miles an hour though. That's a little tricky with it. With the top on it's not doable. Without the top though that's going to be interesting. As soon as I get my wires in I'm going to pull the top. Unless it's time for the... I gotta be... it's gotta be dolled up all nice for the state fair parade. That's where I'll be really making my debut. I uh... Ordered another kit for spare parts, and I'll get that going. That wheel may be salvageable. I'm not determined yet. I haven't gotten into it, but all the nuts seem to be just it's still in there and just went loose. Straighten the spokes that are bent, put them all back in the holes, and maybe have enough left. There's only a couple that, uh, using a 500 watts and just cruising along 25 kilometers an hour. I'm sure this is going to be over 30 miles today. It'll be interesting where the fuel gauge, where the charge gauge is at at the end of the day. The bolt gauge, might as well call it. I like to keep my bolts in the 50s, I guess. In uh, the 40s is when it starts going down. After it gets below 50. I think about 51. Well, no, it's after 50, it starts to go down. Oh boy, this could be a good nose about here. I hope nobody comes. Small house. 2,000 watts. Boom!
Yeah, they gave Trump immunity. Well, not see, they didn't give Trump immunity. They gave all presidents immunity. <laughs> President Trump. Anyway, yeah, he's got the precedence that all things can be done through executive decisions. No need for Congress or Senate or anybody. All things can be just executive including mass genocides. It's funny how they keep making it worse and everybody cheers. I don't know. The fact is, is that nobody should be about it. And the ones who enforce the law should be held twice as accountable to the law, not immunity. Thousand watts. The solar panels were only putting out 400, and, uh, so that means I'm using the batteries. It's going to be interesting to see what the range is. You got to balance getting there. You know, can't take forever to get there. You got to. You gotta clip right along to try and get the, you know, that takes energy.
So I'm just coasting in here. I still have to hit my brakes. Big hill. He did, no, no problem. Got down to 25 kilometers.
Look okay. Solo. Not a cloud in the sky. Solar radiation abounds. 
And I'm here in the shade. <laughs> That's nice. kilometers an hour now. Sometimes you gotta get out of the way, you know what I mean? Well, that was a nice drop, I should have grabbed that. <laughs> I guess I'll turn it around so you can see me for a little bit here.
just the uh, I didn't go all the way down to the light. I spotted a little nice little dirt trail to go into the furniture road into Walmart. And I chanced it and I took it and I made it. Well <laughs> off road is any kind of off road is very, very questionable sort of. Anything is not level. It wants to be as level as possible, please. And even then, I'm learning when I corner, you've got to put all your weight on that inner foot. That's the way to do it. A person wants to put on the outer seat and lean over, but it's, it, that doesn't work. It uh, puts the weight on the outside of the center of gravity. You want your weight on the inside of the center of gravity. And when you go through the turns, it's kind of fun to go to the bottom leg.
set a new record. That's awesome. Everything is awesome. so good. That's awesome. Like this one, they can drive this to the golf course, drive it on the golf course with the bigger wheels. I don't know if they let you on with the narrow wheels, but uh, with the larger wheels, yeah, they <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, the golfers are going to see the, the wheels go right away. The golfers who want to retire and play golf every day, it's like, this is what they need there. in the sun. That's true. Oh, is that is solar powered? Solar powered. Solar powered. You dump that in. Wow. It runs that, on the sun. I never have to plug it in. I never have to gas it up. That is cool. It's about as cool as cool gets. Let me see here. How long did it take you to get over here, Charlie? Five. Uh, I left it, uh, 
I was just curious how long it took you. At 10, at 10.30. 10.30? Oh, about an hour. About an hour. That was what I figured. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it says, I've already been riding almost nine hours. On the chart. Okay. Well, we had a nice Independence Day party with the family. And we're at the... I've nice seen it there. Let's see. 56.9. We're fully charged again. See what I'm trying to tell you? This thing is just a dynamo with constant charging all day long. Okay. Nope. Oh. When you going here? I don't know where I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps trying. 
bang, you know. But that train keeps rolling on down to San Antonio. I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy. Don't ever play with guns, but I shot a man in Pueblo. But it was on the east side. Now I hear that whistle blow, I hang my head and cry. Drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. Well, I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. But all those people keep moving, and that's what tortures me. If they freed me from this prison if that railroad train was mine. You know I'd roll it on a little farther down the line, far away from Folsom Prison. That's where I want to stay. Let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away every day. Didn't. A lot of men died. One of 
toughest of iron and the other of steel. If the right one don't get you, my foot will. You load 16 ton and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Say, Peter, don't you call me because I can't go. I don't loan my soul to the company store. There's some old labor songs. <clears throat> These are uh, a couple of mound songs. Lies and tears and pain. 
sun. That's the good thing about solos. But the most wonderful thing about solos is, ah, it's the only one. Ah, it's the only one. Except for that one. That was the first one. That was the second one. This is the third one. The third. I'm the third. Charles Raymond Teddy the third. Teddy the third. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what the story is here. Ben showed you that. Almost nine and a half hours of time. 192.3 kilometers. Pretty cool. 30 degrees. Let's see here. Is it 51? 51 volts. Let's see. So we, we used quite a bit, 6 volts. But it's still reading full charge. So there you go. Can't beat that. Set it out here for an hour or two, and it'll be back up to full charge. <laughs> Can't beat Solo. Can't beat Solo. It is the bomb. The absolute best in the West. And the East. And the North and the South. Just can't beat it. Okay. Well, we got some work to do here.